everybody welcome back to my channel okay so this is my uh, haul for the Dollar Tree Christmas junk journal challenge um, done by dear Julie Julie and Carmen Cardom uh, I'll have their channels uh, linked below. I am so sorry. I am a subscriber of Dear Julie Julie and um, the other wonderfully nice lady I just saw this morning when I happened onto their, um, when I saw her uh, video in my feed. Anyway, okay, so I, yes, like I said, I saw that this morning when I woke up. I woke up. Oh my gosh. I need more coffee, apparently. When I woke up this morning, <laughs> <laughs> I watched uh, her, her video and I got super excited and I was like, okay, so I ran out to Target um, and uh, looked through their dollar spot for my inspiration because I knew I would find some really cute stuff there and um, yeah, so I have what you see in front of you stuff from the Dollar uh, Spot from Target and then also a few things from Dollar Tree. Um, what I have here is going to cost more than $15, um, so I will not use everything, but um, I wanted to kind of see where, see where I lie. So, um, as you can see, I was um, kind of, I was inspired by this line um, that they did for, uh, the tar Target dollar spot this year. I, I, I really liked the, um, watercolor, um, leaves, evergreen, and yeah, so, uh, I decided to go with that as my main theme, and, um, along with that, I thought some blue, navy blue, would go really well, so, I have two, depending on how much money money I've spent, may or may, may, or may not use this um, because this one's a $3 item. Definitely will be using this, which was from the Dollar Tree. So, okay, let me go through what I got and I'm going to put to the side the things that um, I'm questioning um, whether or not I will use and we will actually I think it's just those well that that and that okay so let me organize just a little bit okay so as you saw this was uh, from the dollar spot at Target it's got some um, red glittery little berries and as you can see there, it's a dollar. Um, I'm not exactly sure how I will use this yet, but it's obviously very large. And there will be plenty. Um, ooh, ooh, I'm excited about that. I was hoping for some more red. Um, there will be plenty that could be used from here. And, oh, look, okay, yay. I didn't see that either, so that's fun. Um, and then obviously I can use the ribbon and there's a little bit of red inside okay cool so this will be a good one that, that was definitely a good choice so um there's that and then while i was at the dollar tree i also saw this gift bag which again it has um some glitter um on the front we got another little tag, very similar um, design. The colors actually, they work pretty well together. Um, I thought maybe this might be a good cover for my my journal. Um, and then the back side is the same design, but it's not glittered, which that's fine. Um, and then, the, oh yes, the sides are really pretty as well. So yeah, so this was a dollar. So we've got two dollars <laughs> so far, and then I'm trying to get through the bigger stuff here so that we can keep them in the background. I'm gonna move that so I don't bend that even worse. Okay, so then um, they had some really cute wrapping papers at the Target dollar spot, but they were all for their um, more cartoony um, characters. And honestly, you guys, I did seriously consider doing that instead, but I thought. 
I'd be able to find more complimentary pieces at the Dollar Tree for this one. Um, and things were getting a little bit too expensive over at Target because, you know, some of the stuff was like $3 here or there and everywhere. So, um, okay, so I found this. It's um, a gift wrap kit, also for a dollar. And, um, you know what, let's open this up. How are we supposed to do that? Let's get some scissors. Okay. Let's take a look and see what we got going on here. That was a close one, you guys. It just got cut right into that paper. Um, my thinking was, I'm hoping that the inside of this paper is white because my thought is, ooh, this would be good. Um, I want to coffee dye this, so perfect. It doesn't have any lines, which is what I was hoping, and there's a good amount here. So I think this will make great um, inside pages. And then I also have yet another tag ready to go and some twine. So yeah, that's good. That was a great buy. You know, I might use this to bind my signatures in. We shall see. Okay, so. How much do we have now? So, bag one, two, and this is three. So we got three dollars. And I showed you the stickers, which I could have gotten more stickers, um, but I didn't think I'd need them. So four dollars with those stickers. Um, I picked up two washi tapes, so each of those were a dollar. Um, I got this one, which is, you know, this is silly. Let's just pull these out of here. I'm making it more difficult than it needs to be. <laughs> Story of my life. <laughs> okay, so, get rid of this. Cut it into this one. Okay. So, I picked up the silver foil snowflakes and then I got this which is kind of like it's not red foil but kind of almost is it's just a really pretty design so and then I like actually this too I'm thinking maybe maybe I could put something in the middle of that and use that as like a tag um somehow so yeah so okay so Two bags, gift wrapping, um, three dollars for five six. Um, I went ahead and bought some of this ribbon, so I thought we had plenty of green. We've got gold and a little bit of red, so I wanted to get some red ribbon to add some more red. Um, to the mix so there's that and then this is the um, well maybe the last thing from Target Dollar Spot so I picked up these paper tags I'm not going to use all of these um, but I like them and I knew I would use them for other projects so I went ahead and picked them up as well I'm guessing they are all the same and I'm right and the back is white. So that's awesome. I might even try coffee dyeing a couple of these and see what happens. That might be really cool. All right, and another tag. <laughs> Excuse me, oh, I'm all over the place today. I got the hiccups and everything. <laughs> okay, <laughs> silly. All right, so there's those. Now, um, I'm sure you saw this. So at the Dollar Tree, I found this. Um, they had these just nice little notebooks that are lined paper. And obviously I want to use this for the inside papers. Um, so there was a dollar for that. And then I did pick up this and this was also from the Dollar Tree 
and my thinking was to use this book cover and cover it as my actual book. Um, so, so yeah, I'm, I'm going to have to think about how I want to do this. Um, hmm, yeah, I'm not sure. Nothing's, I've got a couple of ideas, but nothing's really screaming at me just yet on how I want to do that. But what I like is, A, the size of the spine is perfect. Um, I can get three nice sized, um, signatures in there and then I like the color it's kind of a really dark charcoal gray um, and then the third thing was I didn't mind the the font in here so I will use some of these papers pages I'll coffee dye them and those will become part of the journal as well um, so yeah you know what I'm realizing I didn't get any kind of paint or anything like that and I might be regretting the fact that I didn't do that so hmm hmm okay well we'll see what happens I might need to rethink my strategy and go back to the drawing board a little bit um okay so over here um we've got this from the Dollar Tree it's just a big old thing of gift wrap and I'm hitting the wall behind me <laughs> So this is a uh, navy, and I really like the um, how the navy works with um, these reds and greens. Kind of classes it up a little bit, I think, um, and just because navy is so awesome, why wouldn't you want to use it? And um, the design is pretty. So um, I'm gonna use this for inside papers as well, and I'm curious to see. What goes with? Okay, so there is lines on the inside, which that's okay. It's not too bad. Oh shoot, it does have writing on it. Gift wrap is 100% recyclable. Okay, well, my thought was to um, again coffee dye this and use this as inside interior pages um, in the in the journal. Uh, maybe even inside front cover. Um, yeah. So I'll have to, I guess, work with the back side a little bit. Okay, so now, oh, the other two things I got were um, two things of ribbon from the Dollar Tree. Uh, I've got this really pretty, I don't know if you can really see this very well. Kind of, and I wanted to feel it too. I don't know exactly how it feels. If it's, oh yeah, this is perfect. Okay, so it's just white with like a silver design, um, which I thought would work well with the rest of what I've got going on here. You know, the one thing I am missing is like a more natural textural thing. Um, Hmm. I do have, I've taken the, the, I bought this a while back, but actually I, I did see some of this while I was at the Dollar Tree this morning. Some of this burlap. Um, I do have this. I may decide to swap, I may decide to swap this one out for this. So, my thinking was, with this, was um, if I needed to uh, take two pieces of paper and join them together, um, you know, to make a signature, I could sew um, them together with this as the binding. Um, and the reason for that is because of this that I found at Target, which I may or may not use. Um, I found this, it's a 2019 planner, and it was $3. And obviously I don't think I would use you know, the front or anything like any of that part of it um, for this journal. But, and then all of this in here, I, I wouldn't use because 
it's just not it's not quite right but what I liked was all of this back here and as you can see so my thinking was rip these out copy dye them and um, but then I would have to figure out how to um, you know join them together and I could use washi tape and that would work fine but a better way to do it is to sew uh, a piece of ribbon um, to them and I thought this ribbon would be perfect for that but you know I could even use this for that too so that this might do it or even um, some of this paper coffee dyed um, and doubled up might work just as well so but this is three dollars and I don't know if I want to spend three dollars worth of my 15 just for this paper I don't know if I want to use it that or not so okay so here you're probably wondering what in the heck is this um, I found this at the Dollar Tree and I really just I wanted to use this for my craft room you know it's just a diffuser um, just to make it smell nice in here but I love this deer and I thought ooh, this could make a really cute tag or a couple of tags because um, it does really match my theme that I got going on so if I decide to use that box that would be another dollar and then the last thing we kind of looked at this a little bit before this is a shave bag from Target dollar spot three dollars um, you know got a cute couple little cute um, tags that I could use this obviously I would take it apart um, and I like it because it's navy and then um, it's textural I thought this would make a great cover potentially I don't know exactly how <laughs> Uh, I would have to um, open it up and mess with it, um, but then I saw it does come with, <laughs> it had this piece of cardboard inside, um, so I could use this as like maybe my spine. I don't know you guys, we're getting a little bit creative here, uh, a little more creative than I had planned on. <laughs> um, but that's kind of when the really great things happen, right? So the inside is, I don't know, it's kind of thick, but it is floppy. So that would be something I'd have to think about. I don't know if I would use the zipper. I definitely would use this somehow. It's kind of, it's pleather. It's not real leather, but it's black. If I had my way, it would be brown. Um, but, you know, it is what it is. But, you know, I do really like the zipper. Hmm. Hmm. Interesting. Okay, so, so yeah. So, I have kind of a lot going on here. Um, but I think the bones of what I've got going on are pretty good. Uh, some golds and some greens and some reds. Like, watercolory. Um, leaves of Christmas and then throwing in some navy into it so okay so this is my haul um, I may swap a few things out um, for something else and if I do I will definitely note that um, and I think from what I've seen and read so far the rules are um, you can spend $15 from multiple target or sorry multiple dollar like stores um, I may be back at the Dollar Tree looking for some kind of ink or paint of some sort um, we'll see maybe maybe not um, and then I'm assuming I can well I know I can use my regular other tools like a ruler a cutting tool um, you know needle and thread for binding uh, and um, I hope I can use a sewing machine gosh if I can't oh well I guess I could just use glue which would work fine sewing machine would be so much better 
um, you know what, I'm going to use a sewing machine and if that means I don't win the prize at the end, then I guess I don't win the prize at the end, but I'm still going to have a good time making it and, um, yeah. So, okay, well, here we go. Um, my other thing was I thought I would, uh, film a process, the process of me doing this. Um, so, yeah, uh, we might get to be good friends over the next week or so. Um, I'm not going to film everything that it's hours and hours. Uh, it just takes hours and hours to create these journals. Um, and when you're coming up with things from scratch like this it tends to take even more time than usual. Um, so, but I will turn on the camera when it makes the most sense and maybe kind of talk you through my thinking process. Um, or maybe put it on fast forward and then do a voiceover. I'm not sure how exactly I'm going to do that, but I will invite you in to watch how I kind of come up with things. So yeah, so I guess I better get started. <laughs> all right. Hope you all have a wonderful weekend and I will talk to you again soon.